Well, hey, look where we are again. I got the old trusty wet wipes out, look. Blimey. What's that all about, then? Well, I'll tell you what it's all about. It's all about cleaning this uh, SIBO up, this uh, BS36. That's what I'm doing. I'm giving it a clean. I've got the old pipe here. I'm going to give that a clean up in a jiffy. Got a bag there. Switched the bag over. Got me a cup of coffee. And um, what I've already done is I've got, got Mr. Pneumatic. Um, and I've started to... Well, I already have. I've had that pre-motor filter out. And I've had a... I've had a little suck about inside. And uh, I think I've removed most of the dirt from inside there. So, well, there's not... Well, no, no. There weren't much dirt inside there. There was just a little bit of... A fine film of dust, I think we'll call it. That's what was inside there. But anyway, I've got the majority of that out now. Um, I'm going to run over it with a wet wipe, and that should... Any more dust with that should stick to the wet wipe, and we'll be well away. I'm going to... Um, see if I can upgrade this to some kind of hospital grade one, like the G1. Um, I should be able to get one. I would have thought SIBO do one on their website or something, probably. So I'll um, I'll have a look around on there and see what I can find. Hopefully I'll better get one. Because that's something what drew my attention to the G1 as well was the filtration, you know. I don't want any more dust being flown around the house, do I? Um, I'm going to look out for some better bags. Anyway, so I've had a quick a route around. I haven't cleaned the cable up yet, that's one plan. I don't know whether this this appears to be stuck to the cable. I was hoping to be able to slide it up further towards the plug. Um, but it appears to be actually moulded onto the cable there. I can't move it and I don't want to damage or break the cable. So I'm just going to have to make do with it there. It's a pain in the arse there because it's in the wrong position. But what can you do? Um, so I've had a quick wipe around with the wet wipes. And uh, I've managed to get the paint off. There was all, remember there was all white paint along the edge. I've got all of that off just with wet wipes. Oh, there's a little bit there I missed, look. And there's a bit here that I still haven't managed to get off. I haven't had to use the petrol yet, but I've got plenty of cans of petrol sitting over there that can be utilised if needs be. So don't panic about that, friends. Um, so yeah, we're getting there, actually. Um... I don't know how to take the brush bar out of this one, the brush roll. I don't know how to take that out yet. I'm going to have to experiment to see if it's an easy way like the G1 or if you literally have to take everything apart. I don't know yet. Um, it won't take me 10 seconds to have a, to have a look underneath there and have a see, see how you get it out. Um, but I just haven't looked yet. So, But uh, it's coming along nicely, my friend. I'm actually genuinely, genuinely excited about this one. I really am. I like this. This style of vacuum cleaner is, is my cup of tea. But I don't like tea, so got to be careful there. Alright, here we go. It's pretty much done until I get the filters. I, I, I haven't had a look yet. I've just remembered as I've started recording. I haven't looked at that brush bar yet. But as far as aesthetically look, aesthetically it is. It's cleaned. Um, I know you can, I can see in the, in the screen here. There's marks, there's uh, marks on it. Well, that's because my polishing cloth, my microfiber polishing cloth, is indoors because I washed it today. And, well, I washed all of them today. So I haven't polished it yet. Um, I've just used the wet wipes to clean it. But uh, as soon as I'll take it indoors tonight, and then tomorrow morning when the polishing cloth's dry, I'll polish it up and it'll be all shiny. Um, but yes, yeah, it's. Oh, hello. Tripping over a while, but yeah, it's uh, pretty good and dandy now, my friends. Um, one thing to remember is to always, when you're putting your bag door back on, remember that it's sealed. Remember to clean the seal around here because I've cleaned it all, cleaned all the seal around here. Um, I've I've done these are scuff marks. It's not paint. I can't get them off. That's just they're just there. Um, if I can come across a bag door, which is in mint condition, 
if I've got the funds at the time I may well get it if it's a few quid if it's any more than a few quid I won't get it because I ain't paying anything for it something ain't broken um, yeah oh what's this a bit of dirt there look get rid of that I like this I like the SIBO logo I don't know why it's a logo that tickles me fancy that is and it's everywhere see I love it I tried to fix this pipe I managed to bend the little thing back slightly more um, but I couldn't get it to go all the way round again. I, I squeezed it with a pair of pliers, a pair of mold grips, and I bent it back to a circle a bit, but it's still, it's still not, it's still not perfect. Um, but it does the job for now, doesn't it? So I'm just gonna have a quick look at that brush bar, but it doesn't need, it doesn't need any attention. I was just gonna oil up the bearings. That's all I was going to do, oil up the bearings. Um, oh yeah, I stuck a cable tie on here, so it'll see through a cable tie. I'll tell you for why. For why I've done this is because I didn't like the way that the cable was pulling on all of this. All this here was pulling the whole lot down. And I could see maybe in the future it might rip, um, split this little um, protector this little sleeve and protect it here I didn't want it to get damaged so I put a little cable tie here and I'm just going to see how it goes if this starts to pull on on this and then start to tear it under here where the cable tie is I'll, I'll get rid of that and I'll just have it as it is I might put a little bit of padding now just trying to protect that if possible but other than that everything's good and dandy right let's have a let's have a quick look at this brush roll before I before I, uh, I'm going to go and have a listen on the radio in a second. So let's have a quick look at this little brush roll quickly. Oh, by the way, mm. this is why I wanted to move this, right? Because when you wrap the cable up, the plug only comes to here, right? You'd think maybe it'd come to the top, then you clip it on and wrap the little bit over there. But no, no, it comes here. So when you hook that on there, that's all flapping. Look, flappy dappy. What's that all about then, friends? What's going on there then? So, I don't know. I wanted to slide it up, yeah? So then you could clip it on there, and then that would stay up like that. But I just can't get it to move. And I put WD-40 on it. I tried heating it up with a hairdryer. I don't want to put the heat gun on it, because that might heat it up too much. I don't want to melt the cable. I put, I put a hairdryer on it, try and expand it a little bit, and pull it up. Nah, won't have done a bit. It must be moulded on there, I would have thought. Don't know what else it could be. So, yeah, it's just flopping about, so... Um, all I'm going to do, all I have to do with the Kirby actually, is uh, put that on there, sorted. I'm as happy as a duck now, my friends. Well, I'm going to look under here. I can't see a way to get the brush bar out without taking it apart. I mean, there's a little screw, little thing with a screw in here. I don't know, I can't see a way. Um... I'm not going to experiment on it. I might do it tomorrow. I might take it apart. Just I'm going to take it apart and strip it down anyway to clean all the grime and dirt what would be up inside there. So either way, I'm going to find out how to get it out. But I'm just saying it doesn't look like there's a an easy release for it like there is on the G1 where you just slide it out the side. Which uh, is a bit of a shame really because it would be ideal if there was but it doesn't look like there is. One thing I have noticed is there isn't a little door to check for blockages. But I suppose you don't need it on this one, do you? Because it just goes up and up there, doesn't it? I don't know. Yeah, oh, well, anyway. Everything looks like it's in good order, anyway. Funnily enough, speaking about brush bars, brush rolls, um, I've just gone inside to get a drink, and uh, I quickly checked my YouTube, and Mr. Ibasiak there has commented on the video, the first video I made of this, and uh, he's um, pointed me towards another brush, another brush strip um, for it. He reckons he, he got better results with the red one, with the tougher, with the harder one. It's funnily enough, I was only, he also pointed me towards a good filter for it. <coughs> but it's funnily enough, I was just look, thinking about the brush bar, going there and check me comments, and there he, there he must be reading me mind. I basically you're a mind reader. Anyway, so yeah, I might even get the red brush strip for it. I think it was like eight quid or something like that. So um, maybe in a few weeks time, if I haven't already sold this, uh, or if I've decided I'm going to keep it either way. I, it's up for sale. If anyone wants to buy it, you can buy it. Um, 
but if I haven't sold it and I want to keep it I might get the red brush for it just to see how it goes anyway so but yeah that's that then friends all, uh, all cleaned up and ready to go now so sweet